Yo, what is up YouTube? Back again. And I got a surprise for you. It is a Kawasaki KDX 200. And it was abandoned. Somebody abandoned this bike and it was left behind. You can see all the dust and grime and dirt. I mean, this thing is just been sitting for so long um i mean this thing needs tires are shot front wheel bearings totally shot the shocks are leaking front forks uh it does have compression i mean this thing is just rough man you can see it's definitely been sitting a long time and it's just caked with dirt dust yeah, I guess this was a, a silencer of some type I don't even know what brand that is oh answer wow that's some old school stuff right there you can see the old mud underneath from when it used to ride but these tires are shot and check out the sprocket, man. That sprocket is toasted. I mean, how do you even do that? How do you let the sprocket get like that? Look at that. It's totally rounded out. Like smooth. It's just unbelievable that someone can do that to a sprocket. Back wheel bearing is moving. You can hear the noise. So it needs a back wheel bearing, front wheel bearing. Uh, the carburetor is missing. There's no carburetor. The engine has compression, really good compression. So that's one good sign. But man, this thing is rough. I'm just gonna strip it down and paint the whole frame and blast it. Try to keep it as original as possible. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you the latest project missing clutch levers is gone I don't know if they borrowed it and took it off another took it off for another bike um, it's got the engine stop switch here I guess those are for the lights I guess it yeah, turns the lights on and off there what's up Tone? good but uh yeah, as you can see, um, definitely uh, need some TLC. The headlight uh, looks like the screw came out, but it actually fits in there. There it goes. See that? Good as new. It's just missing the screw that goes in here. But other than that, it's all there. All the plastics are there. <sighs> Nothing's really cracked. Just some scratches on it, but it's definitely been sitting a long time. And uh, the oil cap is uh, broken. So I'll have to figure out how to get that off. And it does have gear oil, crankcase oil in there. It's probably nasty, but the gas tank smells like varnish. I mean, this thing really smells bad. Let's take a sniff. Ooh. That's bad. This thing is bone. There's a bunch of, looks like there's some dirt in there. You have to wash out the tank. So there's definitely dirt in there. Um, but yeah, here she is. In all of its beat up glory. Definitely needs uh, some TLC. That's a fact. Its tires are worn down and even has the old bag, like an aftermarket bag that used to they used to sell for the Kawasaki. It actually bolts on to the factory location. That's pretty cool. You can see that. Moose racing equipment. 
what it has in here. Wow, look at that. Old rusty tools. Isn't that cool? So we got some rusty tools in the back. An old answer silencer, which is pretty cool. I've never seen one of those since like 1991, 92. I don't even know if they're even still in business. Answer RS2. But yeah, man, this thing is, it's got some coin in this tank. A little bit in there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's got a little bit of coolant down in there. The green. But when I took the radiator, I don't know if I, there's any, I took the radiator cap off. I didn't think I seen any coolant in there. I don't know. Might be low. I don't even know if these radiators are any good still. I, mean, I don't see anything leaking. So that's a good sign. It smells like, it smells like nothing. It looks to be empty. I don't see anything in there at all. Yeah, it's definitely looks lower empty, but we'll have to check that later. Um, yeah, it's all there though. I mean, everything's here, man. You got all the plastics. Even has the radiator shrouds on there. Everything's there, man. Everything is definitely there, except for the clutch lever. That's missing. I'm trying to think what else was missing. Yeah, the clutch lever is missing. The carburetor is missing. So other than that, it's all there besides those two things. I don't see anything else missing. Um, it's definitely rough, man. I mean, this thing's rough. Look at the brake. Look at, look at that. Look at that brake caliper. Bad, dude. It's like this thing was so neglected. They just rode it and didn't do nothing to it. But even the front rotor looks like it's look at that. It's like shabby. I don't even know if that's even salvageable. It might be. Nah, that looks pretty beat, dude. I may have to put a new brake rotor on there. These tires are freaking dry rotted and worn out. Like, I think these are their original tires, man. When they were brand, yeah, they're their original tires. From when it was. Brand new back in the 90s, 91, 92, 1992. Yeah, I don't know, man. These things, yeah, these look like the original tires, man. But these things were definitely like bold, man. These are, look at that. Things are worn out and shot, dude. Totally shot. The spring don't look too bad. The rear shock. It's actually still pretty bouncy. Not bouncy, but you know what I mean? Like stable. Not too bad. The shock's not too bad. The front forks are totally shot. They're just... They ain't no good. The front, the front forks are just... Uh, they're blown. You see all, see all the... Lead, they're leaking. So... But yeah, stay tuned and... Uh, I'll be back... With another video... On the progress... On this bike. So... Uh, Stay tuned for Project KDX 200, two smoke. Hopefully uh, we can get this thing running. It's definitely dirty. Very dirty. Needs a really good wash. This thing's a little cracked here. It's a mud flap, inner fender whatever you want to call it but uh yeah stay tuned and uh i'll be back be safe and uh stay tuned for more videos see ya